we're going to look at different ways of sorting our table of data. To start with, we're going to sort by the extended price column. So we're going to right click in the column and choose sort, sort smallest to largest. And we can see our table is sorted in order of value. Now we're going to go across to our order date column and again right click and choose sort and we'll say that because this is a date Excel recognizes it as a date and gives us date type sort orders so we're going to choose newest to oldest to bring our most recent invoices to the top. Now we're going to look at a multi-level sort we're going to go to the data ribbon the sort button this displays the sort screen we have our level sorting level there that we've already entered we're going to add a level and set that level to be country we're going to add another level and change that to salesperson both sorting A to Z we want to change the order we want to sort first by salesperson so with the salesperson row selected we use the up button to move salesperson to the top and then we're going to move order date down one to get our order of salesperson country and order date and when we click on OK we can see our table sorted in the order that we have specified. We're going to look at filters we can see from the data ribbon that the auto filter is turned on and therefore there's a filter drop down on each of our column headings if we turn that off we can see that drop down goes we'll turn it back on and we want to filter by extended price so we click the drop down in the extended price column we want to use one of the number filters it recognizes the column contains numbers we'll use between and we'll say that we want to just display items that are between 1000 and 3000 and there's our table filtered by those criteria. We're going to look at a more advanced filter next. First of all we'll clear our existing filter by clicking the clear button in the sort and filter group of the data ribbon. Then we're going to insert five rows immediately above our table and we want to filter on the country column and the extended price column so we type those headings exactly as they are in our table in the appropriate columns in row one so you can see here we've typed in country and then we type in extended price matching the entry in our table in both cases now we want to just display items from France so we type in France in cell C2 and we want values greater than a thousand so we type in greater than 1000 in G2 we click on the table and the advanced filter button it recognizes our table of data we choose criteria range display our new rows select our criteria block and we could either filter the list in place or copy it to another location if we wanted to use it for something else we'll leave it filtered in place and click on OK to see our list filtered showing just the entries for France that are greater than 1000. A lot of these sorting and filtering operations could perhaps more easily be done in the pivot table We'll be looking at pivot tables in great detail in units 27 to 30. Now we'll look at the sorting and filtering options available in a table. First of all we'll clear our existing filter and just remove those five new rows. Then we'll click a cell in our table and choose insert and table convert our range into a table it guesses the range we confirm it has headers click OK our block of cells is now a table we can see that we've got drop downs that enable us to sort and filter 
We're going to use a particular option, which is the ability to remove duplicates. So on the Table Tools Design ribbon tab, there's a Remove Duplicates button. We can choose which columns to compare, and we just want to find the sales persons. So we untick all the others. We could also have clicked on the Unselect All button and then just ticked Salesperson. Having done that, that will find just the unique salesperson values for us, nine of them, and there's our list of salespeople.